my aim is to try and support the sea management team with putting in place structures to make sure staff work properly and safely and reduce accidents. We have here a real range of staff from gardeners, caterers and cleaners who are struggling sometimes with their work. We now put in place checks with them, training, induction which helps them set their role and their sort of responsibilities. A school needs to have structures so that the dialogue is started. And for me at Harrow that begins with the in-service training that we run at the start of each term in which very regularly our health and safety manager, Brian, is in front of the masters, in front of the non-teaching staff, reminding people about existing policies and practices um, and setting out the health and safety agenda, if you like, uh, for the following term. ISPA has a fantastic network for bursars covering all the areas they cover. There are now growing areas for fringe areas such as estates and compliance. And ISPA wants some help from key schools to say, how can we across the country spread the support? We put up a system where they can call us for ideas. If they want to borrow templates, they say, I'm new here, who can help me with a minibus legislation? We help through there. We have now around the country six forums, about 30 per forum, and they work well through friendship, through emails, through networking, where people can get support which they need in the new to a job. I think another one of the areas where Brian has, has contributed greatly has been with the engagement with the pupils, particularly with health and safety where the boys are involved as members of the committee. To the school, I think it's very valuable that I'm there to actually um, advise on a few things. To myself, it's also quite interesting because I never really understood um, or really had a knowledge of how much goes into looking after the boys and looking after um, the general safety around the hill. Um, so yeah, it's eye-opening to me, but also I think for the school it's valuable. And these are useful life skills, not only for a full boarding school, but also going forward in life, so that when they find themselves in the workplace, that health and safety is something they, they will think about and take seriously. Essentially, I act as a bridge between the students and the senior management team. Um, so if anything happens which the senior man management team doesn't see, uh, I have to bring it up in the meeting so we can discuss um, a solution. So I, I believe from the feedback we get from the committee, the boys are actually taking it on and, and trying to, to sort of change their everyday routine to fit uh, what we're telling them to do. It gives you an insight into the professional world by being able to sit around people trying to give solution and, and actually get uh, to a certain objective by the end of the meeting is, is a really good experience, yes. It is now firmly on people's agenda and he does it with a great deal of charm and good grace. Whilst dogged persistence is in there as well, but it's never done in a dull and dry manner and that's one of his great qualities.